This video will demonstrate how to create an XML file using Visual Studio 2008. For this example, I've already created a standalone website called XML Demo. I'm now going to right click the website project line and choose Add New Item. And from there, I'm going to click XML File from the list of available templates and click the Add button. What is in front of us now is a basic template for an XML file. We don't have to do anything to that first line in the file. That simply identifies it as XML to various programs. Instead, I'm going to click the Enter key. Now, it's important to remember that XML content is entirely arbitrary, meaning that the elements that make up the XML file are entirely up to the people who are designing the system that uses the file. So in this case, I'd like to create an XML file that will share address data from one system to another. That makes it important for me to consider what normally comprises an address. So I will make a series of nodes XML elements. The first one I'm going to call address. This will be a parent or root XML element node. I can put elements inside that node itself. So an address would contain various elements. One would be a street one. Another would be street two. Whoops, I typed backwards there. And so on and so forth. So I'm going to finish out the address itself. So now, if someone were to want to create an XML file with this format, what you could do is actually store data in each of these elements. So one example would be street1 could store one test, la test lane with a city of XMLville and a state code of Maryland and a zip code of 12345. This is an example of an address that would be passed from one system to another in this XML. Now, another thing that you can do with XML is assign attributes. So let's say in this system that a person's account can have a certain address that's valid at a given time, and then perhaps that address becomes out of date. So we could say in this address, effective date from equals an effective date to equals. Those are attributes of the XML element. Sort of in the same way that in HTML you can have a table element with attributes such as cell padding and cell spacing. Effective date from and effective date to are attributes of my address XML node. All of this I've just defined myself. So that's the basis of creating an XML file in Visual Studio.